in this question, we have an unknown material and a student's taken multiple samples of the material, determined their masses and volumes and plotted them on this graph. So we can see here we've got mass in grams on the y-axis and volume in centimeters cubed on the x-axis. Our first question is what would be the mass of a 20 centimeter cubed sample? So 20 centimeters cubed is a volume, so we're going to be looking at the x-axis of our graph to start with to find 20 centimeters cubed. There it is. We want to know what would be the mass of that sample. So what we need to do is read from our graph. So I'm going to help myself by drawing some lines. So 20 centimeters cubed, I'm going to draw up a line to meet my graph line. We would need a mass of 40 grams in order to have a volume of 20 centimeters cubed. So let's check that over here. Awesome. Okay, next question. What would be the volume of a 60 gram sample? So let's look at the mass. We're looking for 60 grams. So that's our y axis, 60 grams. There it is. Again, we're going to use a line to help us read off our graph. So it's 60 grams going across to our graph line and coming down. We have 30 centimeters cubed when we have 60 grams. So the answer to the second question is going to be 30 centimeters cubed.